how to create an audiogram for your podcast. Hey everyone, Alec here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create audiograms just like these. You can either start out with a video version of your podcast and overlay an audiogram, or you can start out from an audio version and create a video from that audio. And with that being said, let's get started. So the tool we're going to be using is called Veed. So you can either head over to Google and Google Veed, which is V-E-E-D, and then click on the first link. If not, as usual, the links are gonna be in the description down below. Once you're on Veed, the first thing you want to do is create a new project. Once you're in Veed's video editor, here you need to upload your podcast audio or video to begin creating an audiogram. So we're gonna click on the upload files and then we're going to browse through our documents. And here I have a snippet as an MP4 file. And then I also have a snippet of the podcast as an MP3 file. First, I'm gonna start with the audio version. So if I select the audio and I click on open, as you can see, we're now prompted to select a template. And if we want to post this to Instagram, we can select the Instagram template. If not, you can just start with a blank canvas. So I'm gonna select the Instagram template. And as we can see now, if I click play. Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the social media podcast. As you can see, you can hear my audio. And the first thing you'll notice is that you can actually see the audiogram at the bottom of our square video canvas. So the very first thing I'm going to do here is actually quickly name the project. So I'm just gonna click on project name and then I'm gonna type audiogram just like this. Okay, now what I want to do is quickly do some styling. So I'm gonna change the background color. I'm going to make the background color orange just like this. And then the podcast artwork here, it says replace me in the image tab. So if I click on this, the image tab will open up. If not, it's in the left toolbar. And then here we can actually click replace to replace our image. So if I click here, I'm going to select an image that I want to post here. So what I could do is actually select this cutout of me. And if I click open, as we can see, this is now imported into Veed's video editor on our video canvas. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly resize it just like this. And then I'm gonna click and drag it to place it wherever I want on the video canvas. And what I might do is just bring it backwards so it's behind my audiogram. Now, if I just click and drag this up, as you can see, I have my audiogram. And then once we've clicked on it, the Soundwave tab is actually going to open up and in the Soundwave tab we have the drop down menu to choose the different style of audiogram that we want and currently we have a choice between 11 different styles so as we can see if I change it to static we have this one I'm your host Alec if I click on the drop down menu and I choose harmony we have this one and in this we also have this one podcast there's a bunch of different styles and I'll let you go through them and choose the one that you prefer best. We also have this nice circle one, which I like, which is very creative. For an example, I could click and drag this. And if I put it behind my head, resize it just like this, and then I do bring backwards. As you can see, we're going to be talking about everything and it looks pretty good. It kind of looks like the audio is coming from behind me. So I might leave this and then what I want to do is actually change the color of it. So I want to make it red, see how that looks. And maybe I'll choose this color right here. If not, what we can do is just select the hex color and select the color we want to make it. If not, I'm gonna go into the color palette and just select a darker orange so it kind of blends in with the background. If not, we're gonna choose a yellow. So this is how I've added an audiogram. Now, if I wanted to, I'm just gonna show you real quick how to create this into a decent Instagram post. And if I click on the subtitle tab, I'm just gonna quickly add some subtitles. So if I click on the automatic subtitle tool and click on start, V then automatically transcribes all of the audio from your podcast into text and turns this text into subtitles. So now, as you can see, I have subtitles on my video. Now, I'm not gonna go in depth about how to create subtitles and style them for your video right now but I will put a link in the cards at the top of the screen for you to go and check out so real quick I'm just going to change the style and we're just going to choose this one right here and if I place this in the middle now if I click play I'm going to place it from the beginning hey everyone I hope you're all doing great welcome to the social media podcast I'm your host I've now got a nice snippet ready for my Instagram now if I select the audiogram once again as we can see we can control the duration if I don't want it to last throughout the entire video let's just say I want it to start at five seconds in just like this as you can see if I click play from three seconds host Alec and in this podcast we're going to it only starts from five seconds in now something you can also adjust is the decibel levels at the moment the minimum decibel level is minus 120 and then the maximum is minus 10 and as you can see if we adjust this our talking about audio waveform is then going to change how it behaves and reacts to the decibels anything related so depending on what you want your social to look media. like just go ahead and play around with these yeah. So to see what you can get. For example, if I make the max dB very low, it's just going to be peaking constantly. Get comfortable, grab your favorite, and it doesn't look very good. So you need to kind of adjust these depending on the decibel levels of your audio. So that is how to create an audiogram from your podcast audio that you could potentially share to social media platforms to promote your podcast. Now what I'm going to do is create an audiogram and overlay that audiogram on my podcast video. So to do this, we're just gonna create a new project from within Veed. So here I am once again in a new Veed project and this time when I click on upload video files what we're going to do is select our podcast video so if I click on open 
As you can see, our video is now imported into Veed. And if I click on play, hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great. This is our podcast video snippet. Now here, this time we're not prompted to choose from a template, so our audiogram doesn't appear automatically. But to add an audiogram, it's very simple. If we go into the elements tab, we click on sound waves, and we're going to click on add sound wave. And now, as you can see, if I click play, welcome to the social, we have an audiogram that's been created for our video. So again, we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to go through the drop down menu and select one that we like and we think suits our video. We're also going to change the color. So for this one, I'm going to make this one blue because it kind of matches the purpley blue background. Again, always remember to name your project, name this audiogram just like this. And then real quick, if I want to share this to Instagram, I need to make sure that I change the video canvas size. At the moment, it's a 16 by nine horizontal video, but if we're posting it to Instagram, it needs to be a one by one aspect ratio. So to do this, under the project tab with the canvas size drop down menu, we're just gonna select this and then we have a bunch of different aspect ratios that we can choose from. And here I'm just gonna select the square one by one aspect ratio. And as you can see, our video is automatically resized. And now if I click play, video podcast, I'm your host, Alec. And in this podcast, perfect. Now I'm not a massive fan of this beam one. So what you could do is potentially change this. And something I like doing is if we use this static one right here, if I click and drag my video up and hide it behind, drag it up a bit more, hide it behind here, place this right here. Now at the bottom, we could have some space to add subtitles. So again, what I could do is go back to the subtitle tab, automatically add subtitles. Remember to select the language that Veed needs to detect to automatically transcribe your podcast audio into subtitles. And then once it's finished, as you can see, we now have subtitles at the bottom. What I'm gonna do is just quickly change the style make them like this. And now if I click play, the social media podcast, I'm your host, Alec. Now, as we can see, it's peaking a bit here at the beginning. So if I click on the audiogram, what I want to do is increase the maximum decibel levels. So if I click play, and in this podcast, we're going to be talking about everything and anything related. To that looks quite good to me. Now I'm just gonna select this and nudge it a tiny bit just so I make sure it's hidden behind the center of the audiogram media so get comfortable grab your favorite that looks great to me and then once you're happy with the audiogram that you've created for your podcast all you need to do is click export in the top right V then starts to render your video with its audiogram and then once it's finished rendering you can then download your video straight to your computer and that is how to create an audiogram for your podcast if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful please hit the like button and if you want to see more videos like this please don't forget to hit that subscribe button we really appreciate it that being said, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.